Okay guys, so this is going to be probably a two part project just because it's 3D. So I'm going to have to pour on the bottom, let that completely cure, and then flip it over and pour on the top. That way the top is the best part and nothing drips over it. Um, these are bottle openers. I've covered up the metal. And these are the last pieces of the wedding order that I have to finish before I can send it out. Sorry, set my hand in some wet paint. Okay, so we're going to flip them over. And I have three of them. Um, this is just a plastic mat. Um, it's a kitchen mat. Dollar Tree has them two in a pack for a dollar. Um, because I have paint under here that's wet that I still want to dry and save for skins and I don't want to ruin it so I'm putting this plastic mat to catch all my drips. Um, so I have three of these for the groomsmen. So we're going to pour on the bottom side first and it will drip over into the sides and the edges. And then when that's completely cured and dried then we'll flip it over and pour it on the top. That way the top is the smoothest. If there's any drips, it'll come to the side and I can sand it and then finish it with either resin or four or five coats of the Liquitex. Um, and it'll look like one cohesive piece, but I don't want to have to sand on the front. So, she has custom colors. None of her colors are straight out of the bottle. So we have made a rocks green, is what we're naming it, um, which is a mix of Christmas green, new shamrock, and black. Then we have ma, mun, brown, um, which is a mix of nutmeg, gold, and white. Um, then we have our Christmas green with a touch of the shamrock and our nutmeg with a touch of gold. Regular gold, it's a king's gold, it's not metallics. None of these have metallics. I haven't added any silicones yet because I'm going to be doing a flip cup um, and we're going to do a dirty pour on these. So I will add a drop of silicone into the cup but not actually into each of the paints because these are her paint bottles for the rest of her order that I'm working on. So I'm going to slide these all the way for a second. I'm going to sit the cup. And here we go. I took the nozzles off the top so they pour out a little faster. It's already starting some cells. I don't know if that white that I mixed in with a drop of silicone and it is the Coconut Milk OGX Anti-Breakage Serum. Then I'm going to add the dark green, the lighter green to mix the silicone in. And the nutmeg mixed brown. And a little bit more of the dark green because she does want this to be a darker camo theme. I'm going to slide this out of the way. I am going to take a stir stick and go from corner to corner twice and do one swirl. And that's mainly just because I want to help the silicone. Mix in a little better. Actually, I'm move them over here just to make sure that you can see. Tip the cup. Okay. 
and I will probably tilt these a little just because I want to make sure there's not too much sitting on top so it doesn't take longer to dry. This is the bottom. This is what will be the bottom of each. So I'm just going to kind of tilt it this way just a hair to make sure all of that paint area is covered. Actually gonna pour just a tad more over here where the tape's at, just to make sure that we cover all of the wood. A little spot down here that's not covered on the side. Even though I'm gonna be re-pouring, I just want to try to get a good little layer all across. Oh, there's a spot on the side there that's not covered. And there. That way when I sand it and add the top, then I know I don't have anything that I have to really make sure to cover because everything's covered except the top. And the top actually probably has a little bit on it right now because it's down in the paint. But what I'm going to do is just pick them up. dry. I'll probably hang them in some manner, but that way after they're dry, I can just pick them up and I don't have to worry about them sticking to this paint and tearing the paint off the sides. I'm just double checking everything. This one's got a lot of excess on it, so I'm just going to let it drip off the edges. It actually did cover the front pretty well, but I still, I'm going to want the front to be just as nice as the back. The back just as nice as the front. I don't want the back to not look as good. So... I am going to torch them because they're wood. I'm going to torch them way up above and then low just to bring out any cells. And then let's bring it down. Whoop. For a close up. I think it's going to be nice once I'm able to do the tops. Definitely got some nice cells. The camouflage coupler is working throughout. There's a little space right here. I did slightly sand these down because they had a gloss cover on them. So I did slightly sand them when I've got them. Um, just to help. And then here's some of the skin that will come off of this one. Which works because I do have a few more projects I need the camouflage skin for. So we're going to let those dry and then we'll come back probably two to three days from now and do the front. <laughs> 